Oh, I went to the Grim So Taker show. Well, report. Welcome to the Grim Report. This is your buddy Grim here. Yeah, uh, with uh, some news. Um, I got the first. I got a look at Bruce Campbell. You know, they give you looks what he looks like, and he looks freaking good for it being off for 25 years. You know, ahead of Comic Con International Stars, he's unveiled, veiled the first look at Bruce Campbell. Ash and Ash vs. Evil Dead. Image Comics debuted Entertainment Weekly shows an armed and and blood spattered Ash with his value stop co-workers Pablo, <laughs> Ray Santiago, and Kelly and Kelly Diana De D E L O R E N Z O. Uh, yes, Ash is a stock boy. <laughs> He's a stock boy, so guys, um. Premiering this fall and television sequel to the cult movie franchise picks up with Ash having spent the past three decades avoiding maturity <laughs> and terrors of Evil Dead. But when Dateline plug theaters to destroy all mankind, he forced to face his demons both metaphorical and literal. Campbell with the headline is Ash vs. Evil Dead uh, panel Friday, July 10th at Comic Con alongside Sam, Ronnie, and Lucy Lawless and Rob Temper. Okay, guys, that ain't all the news I got for you. Well, um, see, um, sorry about the crappy video. I've been neglecting to put my webcam, webcam up, so I've been using one on my, uh, thing. And, um, well, yeah, if the, I'm too loud, I apologize for that, too. Um, CSI's Meglin, Meglin, E-C-H-I-K-U-N-W-O-K-E, -E will voice Vixen in the CW Amen series. Yeah, it seems that CW Seed has found its Vixen. Meglin... Well, I ain't gonna say the name again. The four hundred, the C, the four, 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 oh, uh, four hundred, four, four thousand four hundred. CSI will provide the voice of Mara Cable in the upcoming animated series and could potentially play the character in a live action tool, too, if she ever shows up on the Flash or Arrow. Click for more. Okay. Well, according to Vixen, Varsity, the CWC upcoming upcoming Vixen animated series has founded its star in the former form of Meglin. Uh, her name is just really bad. Her last name. I'm just going to call her Meg from now on if I mention her name again. Who will voice the character of Mara, Mara McCable? And possibly even reprise a role in live action Arrow on Arrow, The Flash, or Legends of Tomorrow, if the six part series is successful. Yeah, um, thing is, is that Legends of Tomorrow is only going to be a six part series. In other words, six episodes. Vixen would, of course, exist within the same universe as these shows and feature the likes of Stephen Emil. Emily Bennett and Richard Card, Grant Goosting and the Carl's Vandales, Valdez, bringing life to the animated incarnation of the characters. The first footage from the show was screened this month at CDCC, and you can check out the official synthesize. Basically, guys. She's a little old to be playing a young woman. She looks a little old to be playing a young woman. And if you guys know who she is, check her out. But yeah, guys, that's that's what's going on in the comic book world with DC and Image. But I'm going to tell you this. Like I said, I'm not doing anything about Marvel. There have been some stuff about Marvel, but I'm not doing it because... Like I said, I'm boycotting Marvel, and I will continue to do so. I won't watch the movies. I won't have anything to do with anything that funds them until they 
get this bull crap off the air. We'll get this bull crap going. I'm not even going to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm not even going to watch that because of uh, what Marvel did with their comic books. Uh, they say all that. You're probably going to say, oh, um, that's not, that has nothing to do with comic books. It doesn't matter. It has something to do with Marvel. And anything to do with Marvel, I don't want nothing to do with. So you will be getting DC news from me, just not Marvel. The No usually does something like that. Tells you everything to know about Marvel, but I'm being biased right now. I ain't giving good news or bad news anymore. I did before, but I'm not anymore. Because it's just bullcrap coming out of Marvel's rear end, and they need to... But I have been on YouTube, guys. I have been boy saying boycott to every Marvel thing there is, every Marvel video that I've seen. And so far, I've subscribed to Marvel just to do that. Just to put boycott Marvel. And uh, I've been getting a lot of people wanting to boycott it. Her giving me thumbs up and stuff. People do say they just dropped the comic all together because of the crap they're doing with Spider-Man. The crap they're doing with just everybody. Nobody wants to read Marvel anymore, so the people that I've talked to, that I've seen, don't want nothing to do with Marvel. So, yeah, guys, it seems like it's gaining momentum, and I'm going to continue to gain momentum. Up to the point where Marvel has to be, is forced to change their ways. To change their all new bullcrap that nobody wants. I don't even want these comic books to get on the shelves, but they're going to. But seriously, we got till September to get this done and over with. So, guys, if you're with me, boycott every Marvel thing. Don't buy their comic books. Don't even buy Secret Wars. You already know how it ends. Everybody dies but a few select few, so. Yeah. Don't buy it. Don't even care to. I mean, if you know how it ends, why buy it? If you know how a game ends, why buy the game? And this game has multiple endings. And this one doesn't. This comic book franchise needs to be flushed on the toilet. If you guys do buy Marvel comic books, please burn them on YouTube. Please flush them down the toilet. Do something with them. Don't even read them. Just say or flush them down the toilet or shred every bit of them. I'm calling for that. I'm sick of uh, Marvel's bullcrap and let's show Marvel that we're sick of it too. Because, I mean, they push us too far. First, uh, they're replacing. Uh, they're saying they're not replacing him, but they are. They eventually will replace Peter Parker with Miles Morales. They'll eventually replace another. They're saying they're changing the some of the characters' colors as we speak. Characters that we know. The Hulk's a Chinese kid now. Um, Spider Man's going to be a black kid. Um, well, he'll eventually take over, as what's been said because of what Stan Lee posted. Stan Lee's pissed off about this, too. You know, eventually they'll probably change, go by, go by the Fox movie, well, go by the Sony, the movie that they're coming to the franchise for, make Hulk, make uh, the thing a naked guy that looks like a crispy fried Hulk. Literally, I've seen a picture. He looks like the Hulk's been deep fried, battered and deep fried. So don't go watch that either. It's pretty stupid. Um, and... The all the uncanny X the uncanny X Men. Seriously, Storm's in charge. That's cool. Then you got the old Wolverine. Nobody cares about. The only reason he got him in the popularity is because Old Man Logan, and that's who's. It's not. It's not the people that we all know and love. It's crap. On top of crap. And I'm done with this, guys. So good luck. Good night. God bless.